Okay, so the prayer in my previous video is cut off due to um my time constraints, but just don't worry about why I was. So here is the prayer. Dear God, I thank you for who you are. I thank you for being a good and faithful God, a God who will never leave nor forsake us. God, I thank you for the person who is sitting on the other side of the screen that is looking at me through a phone or a computer. I think that they love you, that they care for you, and that they will do your will. God, for thankfulness, we thank you for everything you've given in our life. You know, there's a quote that says, what would you have today if everything you had was what you thanked God for? So God, we thank you for everything you've given us in our life, every single thing. We thank you for a bed to sleep on, friends, family, school, job, a house, our pets, the communities that we love and that love us, sports, entertainments. And God, we thank you for everything. Now we ask that we can be fulfilled and that we can be cleansed by the Holy Spirit and that the Holy Spirit would come down on us and forgive us of all of our sins. God, help us to break, help our heart to break whenever your heart is broken. Help us hate what you hate and love what you love. Help us be at peace with you. Help us spend time in your word. Help us to spend more time with you and to put you first. For adoration, we adore you, God. You created us in your image. We reflect your image. We adore you that you are a perfect God and that you sent your one and only son, Jesus, to die on the cross for our sins. For confession, we confess every single one of our sins that we know or that we don't know that we've committed, whether they be from today, yesterday, or 10 years ago. We confess every single one of our sins that we've committed in our past. We ask that we can be able to move on and move forward in our life now that we are forgiven. For others, God, we pray for everybody during these tough times. We pray for anybody who's lost. People don't know you, God, as we pray for everybody who is lost. We pray for people during this pandemic, during these times of certainty, and sometimes chaos with the new transfer of power to our president. Lord, we pray for the president of the United States. We know that you, we, we know that you appointed Joe Biden to be our president, and we have to accept that whether we like him or not. You appointed him there for your will. God, we pray for our enemies. Every Any person who's hated us or that we've hated, we forgive them and we pray for them that they would find you. We thank you for everything. We forgive others who we haven't forgiven. We forgive our enemies. For ourselves, we only ask that our will be done in your life. Be the potter and we are the clay, God. Do whatever you please in our lives. Let your will and work be done in our life and let your plan be fulfilled in our lives. That's all we ask of ourselves. As we go into the weekend, we ask for rest, most importantly. We ask for rest. God will give us rest. Help our faith to be strengthened in you every single day. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. God bless you. God bless America.